Is this the start of a more aggressive stance in protecting the country's exclusive economic zone? Let's discuss that with Philippine Coast Guard spokesperson Armand Barilo. Sir, uh, are we expecting more of these uh, types of incidents in the coming days and weeks? Uh, we do not know, no, uh, Robby. But uh, our mandate is to make our presence felt in the West Philippine Sea. So we are going to uh, conduct the, the exercise that we are doing right now, both in Bajo de Masinilok and um, uh, in uh, the West Philippine Sea in Kalayan Island Group. Okay, in the meantime po, we heard that message. Hinihikayat ang mga mangisda ng Pilipinas. Sige lang, gawin lang natin. As long as it's within our, our territory, it also asserts our, 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 our rights and our, our sovereignty. But what are we willing to reassure our fishermen about kung, su kung susundin po nila ito? Uh, Robbie, that's true. No? In fact, uh, we engaged the fishermen during our uh, uh, deployment in the area. We were able to speak with the fishermen in Bajo de Masinlok and uh, some in uh, Pagasa Island. And actually, they were very appreciative of uh, the fact that the Coast Guard is uh, uh, patrolling or uh, there at the area. And uh, we assured them already that uh, we will remain there and uh, we will uh, take into account their uh, well-being, yung safety nila, yung security, and uh, in encourage pa natin yung mga iba to go there. At, uh, based on the report naman ni Commodore Basilio, our district, Palawan in Basilan, ay, in Palawan, no? District uh, Palawan. Uh, marami pa namang nauhuli isda. In fact, uh, they have uh, pictures and videos taken uh, recently na yung mga nagbababa ng isda sa Palawan, eh, marami pa. So, we are uh, asking the fishermen uh, to continue fishing at yung mga iba pa na magpunta pa doon sa areas na West Philippine Sea. Okay, maraming salamat po. That was uh, Philippine Coast Guard spokesman Armand Balillo.